What's up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We got another omnibus haul for you guys. Not the best haul I've ever had, but we got a couple of books in, so let's take a look at it. All right, all right. So, we got four books. First up, we have the Witchfinder Omnibus, or uh, Deluxe Edition, I should, I should say, from the Mignola Universe. This is the same kind of uh, deluxe edition as BPRD, as Abe Sapien, as Boss, uh, as Baltimore. I almost said Boston. Uh, this was a $35 book, and it collects the first three volumes of Witchfinder. I'm not familiar with this title, but uh, I collect the Min uh, Mignola verse books, and I really have read most of them. I really just need to read Abe Sapien and Baltimore, and now this bad boy. Uh, so let's take a look at Witchfinder and. Uh, see what it's all about <clears throat> you know after two years of doing this channel I think I'm finally saying his name right Mignola 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 yeah Mignola okay cool witch finder all I know is it looks like BPRD smells like BPRD <laughs> so let's take a look I don't know if uh, Mignola does the artwork on this or if he's just the writer Typical deluxe edition from Dark Horse here with these uh, Mignola verse books. Let's take a little look. See, so stories by Mike Mignola. Uh, art is not by him. Okay, so it's a little bit of a letdown, but okay. He did the covers. It looks like. It seems like after Hellboy, he just focused more on writing. I never heard of these books, man. Like I, I don't know. When I'm looking at single issues, for some reason, I just never see books like this on the shelf, man. I don't know if maybe I'm just a basic bitch who just really looks at the big two. But you know, I look at Image titles, I look at Boom Studios titles. I just feel like I don't see Dark Horse or even Valiant, man, that much on the shelves. Must be the shops I'm going to, or just me. Next up, we have Jeff Lemire's Descender. This is Volume Two. This $50 book collects. It looks like issue 17 through 32. I decided to go with the uh, DCBS exclusive, which is the White Deluxe Edition, because that's what I have for Volume 1. I've been really loving Jeff Lemire stuff lately. I'm reading a lot of different books by him. So I started reading Volume 1 when I purchased this. And, man, I don't really love it as much as other Jeff Lemire stuff. It's a little slow right now. Kind of about this, uh, about this little android boy. And I'm not really digging it. I, I kind of hit a wall with it. But uh, I got Volume 2 in. Let's flip through it and take a look at the sender. Might as well just bust out Volume 1 since I have it right here. I'm actually reading it now. But you can see I got my bookmark. If you guys want to know what Gem uses for bookmarks. Really anything I can get my hands on. But right now we have a Lizard, Todd McFarlane, Spider-Man trading card. So I'm, oh, I only read three issues. I don't know. I just don't really love it yet. But that being said, here's volume two. Oh, you know what? Probably don't see how those spines line up, you know? Looks good together. It looks like they went all black with the spine here, and this had like purples and such. That's the parent company of InStock Trades, y'all, DCBS. You actually can pre order books through that site, whereas in stock you can't. So this is our character. What's his name? Like Tim21 or something like that? He's an android. It's like a Pinocchio story almost, you know? Oh, my AC's blasting in the background, man. El Paso is bipolar. It's like 30 degrees in the morning and then like 80 degrees in the afternoon. So I didn't love the art. It's very like watercolor looking. This one is, has more textured looking like it's drawn out or painted on canvas. So I, I really, honestly, didn't love the art style to be to keep it 100. But yeah, to send her y'all. All right, the big Marvel omnibus for this haul, Timely Classics. Uh, this is you could pretty much call Golden Age Human Torch. You know, I do like how the, uh, these omnibus are uniform with uh, the Submariner one, with like the Captain America one, and I think there's going to be one more, like a post-war Golden Age book. The only thing I don't really like about these is that they collect all the same books, just the Human Torch issues, the Cap issues, and uh, Submariner issues. And I, w I really would have just rather had, like, 
Marvel Golden Age Omnibus Volume 2, you know, because we have Volume 1 that collects, like, I think the first 12 of those full issues. But nevertheless, it is a Marvel Omnibus to add to the collection, so you know I had to scoop it up. Uh, pr kind of expensive, too, $150. I wouldn't have bought this if uh, I didn't purchase from in stock trades, which this was 52% off with free shipping for me. So that's really the only reason why I didn't just pass on it all together. But I always think it's cool to have a library full of history. You know, even if it's stuff that I may never get to, you know, it's cool to have it there. Uh, so let's take a look and flip through the Golden Age Marvel or Timely artwork. So I'm not going to lie, I'm a sucker for how this book looks, man. Those oranges, red, white, and blue, I just think it looks so comic booky to me. I love it, man. You have Human Torch and Toro, his little sidekick. This is the android Human Torch. It is not Johnny Storm. This is the Golden Age version. I forget his name, actually, man, to be honest with you. You get some information about the Human Torch, and then some some information about Carl, uh, Carl Burgos, the creator. The AC finally cut off, so it it is a wraparound cover actually. That looks really clean. It does look good, man. I mean, Golden Age Human Torch. Oh, that's what it says on the spine. Timely's greatest, the Golden Age Human Torch by Carl Burgos. Okay, cool. Nice orange on the inside. I mean, the way they put this book together is really nice, though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's just that I don't really know who the audience is for this material. You know, is it, is it guys like me in my 30s that like to go back and see the beginnings of characters that we love? Is it for the older crowd that grew up with this stuff? See, this one has, what, four issues in, in Marvel Comics 1. So this is just the Human Torch stuff. So let me see Let's see how many issues it is. I'm sure not a lot. Or issues, I mean pages. And that's it. Then you get Marvel Mystery Comics. Uh, yeah, the Human Torch stuff. I feel like Golden Age Batman and Superman would be easier to read than the timely stuff. But it looks super clean though. It looks brand new. I mean, think about the the, the thing that's cool about this omnibus is like you you can't buy a Marvel Comics number one. I mean, they do have reprints out now, but I mean, you can't really buy one, especially that looks as good. To collect all these issues would be very expensive and probably close to impossible to do. I bet most of them are CGC graded anyway. But yeah, that's what you got. All right, the last book is the Umbrella Academy Dallas, which is volume two. These deluxe editions are oversized, similar to the size of an absolute edition. I have volume one. I still haven't read it. Uh, I watched the show, like I always say, and I was a big fan of the show. Gerard Way, I think he's from My Chemical Romance, is the writer of this book. Season 2 is coming out, so it might be a good time for me to dust off Volume 1 and play catch-up real quick. Uh, I really was into the show, but the, the downside is I hear the show is better than the book, and it's usually the other way around, so I guess that's why I never really hurried up to read these, but nice to throw it in, uh, into the collection as well. Let's take a look at Umbrella Academy. All right, that big Umbrella Academy. The first volume is black, so this one is all red I happen to have volume one with me right here got a little dusty sorry you can see them two together oh, I even forget the names of the characters was that five the kid that's really lived forever or lived for a long time. Got a forward by Neil Gaiman. Kind of got like a little Mignola vibe with the artwork. 
The thing, it looks like a, it looks like a quick read though, right? It doesn't look like super dialogue heavy. It's got a ribbon. That's cool. They really did go all out with these Umbrella Academies. All right, guys, that's the haul for today. I told you it wasn't nothing special, but just a couple of cool books. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the haul in the comments below. Make sure to drop the like. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content, which includes omnibus hauls like this. I do end up reading these books and do reviews on them uh, with a whole slew of other content. So appreciate you guys watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.